Right, just a thought. Now, Malcolm was a thinking man, and so when watching the TV, a program warned how plastics harmed marine life in the sea. Now that's not on, said Malcolm. Things could just get worse, I fear. Then after days of serious thought, he had a bright idea. Each Friday he went shopping in the village, but the fact is he wouldn't need his plastic bags if he put his thought in practice. So when next Friday came along, his cycle, oh, he put, oh sorry, so, so when next Friday came along, <laughs> his cycle clips on tight, he cycled to the grocer's shop and hoped he'd get it right. <laughs> Arriving at the grocer's, he stood there in the queue. Morning, Malcolm. It's your turn. What can I do for you? Replied Malcolm. A stone of potatoes, some carrots and onions too. A, a collie, a swede. I think that's all I need. At least for today that will do. I haven't brought any plastic bags. Then to the grocer's surprise, Malcolm unfastened his trousers Ooh. amid the startled cries. <laughs> <laughs> no need for plastic bags, he said as more shoppers came in to stare. Poor old Miss Timmins just fainted away and someone found her a chair. <laughs> Other folk just stayed to look and thought it a bit of fun as Malcolm Spuds went down one leg and Veg down the other one. <laughs> but when he asked for a marrow. <laughs> the grocer looked on with alarm. Uh, don't you worry, said Malcolm. I'll carry that under my arm. <laughs> he paid for his goods and walked painfully home when a friend he happened to meet. Shall I call for an ambulance, he asked. You can hardly drag your feet. I've been doing an experiment, said Malcolm with a sigh. Shopping without plastic bags. Well, at least I gave it a try. At home, he unpacked his trousers <laughs> and he made a cup of tea. What a fool I looked, he sadly thought. <laughs> what will folk think of me? But someone had taken a photo of Malcolm in the shop. It headlined the local paper. <laughs> Use of plastic bags must stop. And Malcolm's ingenuity soon made the worldwide press. <laughs> the outcome of his actions might prove a big success. His deed was talked of in Parliament, had an interview on the TV. Well, it got people talking, said Malcolm. And all because of me. But at the thought of his exploit, poor Malcolm groaned and shivered. I'm not suffering pain like that anymore. I'll have my shopping delivered. Ooh. <laughs>